What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. This is my new show. It's called The Weekly Checkup. Your one-stop shop for video game releases for the week. Also any DLC that will be released as well as any firmware updates coming to your consoles. So today is the 21st. Let's get started. We got some great games coming out this week. Starting with the PS Vita. We got a, a great RPG game. Well hopefully it's great. It's called Demon Gaze. It's uh, co-developed by Katawaka Games and Experience. This game will be released on April 22nd. Continuing, we have The Walking Dead, a Telltale Game Series Season 2 coming to the PlayStation Vita. And I'm sure a majority of you guys have had an opportunity to play the Telltale Walking Dead game. Very fun, exciting experience. I'm right now enjoying that game as well on my PS3. This comes out on April 22nd as well. Lego The Hobbit, uh, which is based on the Hobbit trilogy. And you know the Lego series is a real cute... Uh, uh, version of, of these movies and this will be coming out for the Wii U on April 22nd so it's another great Wii U game to look forward to. PS4 is getting this great indie it's called Octodad Deadliest Catch there's been a lot of video of this uh, where you're an octopus pretending to be a human it looks really exciting I'm very happy to see more games coming to the PlayStation 4 this game is going to be released on April 22nd as well. Super Mario Advance 3 Yoshi Island now, if you guys remember the Mario Advance games that came out on the, the Game Boy Advance, this is one of those games. It's coming to the Wii U through the Virtual Console. So they're going to be bringing some of these older games back to the Wii U so that the newer generations can enjoy them. This game will be released on April 24th. Trials Fusion is coming to the PC on April 24th. And that is a... a a dirt bike type of uh, racing game where you you know you're going up and down hills and doing crazy jumps stuff that I don't really get into but it is coming out for PC April 24th so you guys be looking for that Blaze Blue Chrono Plast Phantasma <laughs> that's a crazy name it's coming to the PlayStation Vita now you guys know Blaze Blue is the very uh, arcadey uh, exciting graphics hand drawn characters uh, that is coming to the PlayStation Vita on April 24th so this is a whole new Blaze Blue game I hope you guys enjoy that if you're into 2D fighters like Marvel vs. Capcom things of that nature Blaze Blue's for you we got the Blackwell uh, Epiphany coming to PC it's a conclusion of the Blackwell series the Blackwell Epiphany features two player playable characters and it will be coming to the PC on April 24th Dark Souls 2 uh, is coming to the PC on April 25th. Now you know Dark Souls is already out on last gen consoles. The PC version of course will be the definitive edition with higher uh, textures and uh, better resolution and frame rate coming to the PC on April 25th. So if you're into Dark Souls, you're into games that are very difficult that, that you know will challenge you, Dark Souls 2 for the PC is for you. A PS4 exclusive called Demon Gaze is coming out on April 22nd. This PS4 exclusive allows players to control Oz, who explores dungeons in search of demons, and hangs out at inns building relationships with non-player characters. So look out for that on the 22nd. Also, we got some DLC coming on the 22nd as well. This DLC is Batman Arkham Origins Cold Cold Heart DLC. Players of the popular game Batman Arkham Origins will get a new DLC in the form of Cold Cold Heart for PC, Xbox 360 and PS3. The new DLC will trace the origin of Mr. Freeze and his encounters with Batman. The DLC also brings new Batman Extreme Environment XE suit, thermal gloves, and thermal charge batarangs. So look out for that DLC as well. So that's what I have for you guys as far as video game releases for the week and DLC. But we do have some firmware updates that I want to cover real quick. Sony has confirmed that a new substantial update number 1.7 will be hitting the console very soon. While past updates have addressed problematic areas or introduced previously announced features, update 1.7's new content was built specifically in response to gamers' requests. First up, the new update adds a feature called Share Factory to the PS4. Share Factory is a video editor app that gives gamers the tools with which to take their PS4 share videos to the next level. They can add transitions, commentary, or even music to capture videos before sharing them on the social media. In addition to sharing, sharing on social media, PS4 consoles with firmware 1.7 will also be able to upload videos to a removable storage device, e.g. a 
USB thumb drive so now external thumb drives and flash drives are accessible. Sharing will also be much more customizable with the 1.7 update as players will now be able to determine who they share videos with as well as how long recorded videos last. Perhaps update 1.7's most exciting feature is the ability to disable HDCP for video game capture. Sony promised that an HDCP off feature was on the way and they are finally ready to deliver. Now gamers who want to capture gameplay in chunks longer than a few minutes will be able to do so with minimal hassle. And to top it all off, update 1.7 will add preloading to the PS4 for digital pre-orders. Like the HDCP configuration, preloading went pretty high on our list of must-have PS4 features. In fact, preloading will be essential for both console success. It just so happens that Sony is delivering the feature first. PS4 firmware update 1.70 might not be as robust as say update 2.00 will be, but it certainly ticks a few important boxes when it comes to much needed features. Being able to preload digital games makes it easier for gamers to start playing the second the game unlocks, and HDCP will help Lex players and gameplay streamers increase the profile of PS4 games. And even if you're not the type of person who uses an HD PVR to record gameplay, the Share Factory feature gives players some handy tools for sprucing up their videos. Look for PS4 firmware update 1.7 to hit soon, and I suspect it's this week. Moving on to the Microsoft Xbox One firmware update for April. First and foremost, Microsoft's Major Nelson says that the Xbox One update should be rolling out relatively soon. In fact, some gamers might already have an updated Xbox One console as we speak. As far as what the April update adds, perhaps the most intriguing new feature is the silent reboot after system updates. With this new feature, the Xbox One will now boot up and update its firmware or software while in instant on mode. Before the console would download the update while in sleep mode but not install it, meaning gamers had to boot up and then wait as the green installation bar ticked along. Other tweaks include improvements to game DVR quality, support for 50, 50 Hz video output on Blu-rays, and better connect voice and motion recognition. Check out the full updates below. There will be a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and, and see it all for yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly update. It will be coming every Monday promptly. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.